Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Sunday, which means Guess the Reference, and it means a new video, of course. If you haven't seen Guess the Reference before, and I'm sorry if you have, because you're probably sick of me saying this, Guess the Reference is a quiz that I have created by myself with no affiliation to CBBC, CBC Gem, ABC Me, CBC, I said CBC Gem already, any um, TV services that air the next step, and the next step itself, it's not affiliated to them. Um, I've just made a quiz, I thought it'd be fun to quiz some of the cast members of the next step. There are four rounds to the quiz. The first round is the get to know you round and all the questions are about the cast member themselves. The second round is called guess the reference and all the questions are about the character that they play on the next step and the scenes and episodes that they have been in. The third round is the fan question round and it's the same structure as round two but the questions have come from fans instead. And the final round is just one question that is obscure, it's a little bit crazy, they might not get it unless they've been paying attention. So today's guest has been on the next step since season four so they are the longest reigning cast member that we've had on the quiz so far um, but they did have a brief appearance in season one originals. She's had her fair share of romance and heartbreak and her fair share of moments but now is her moment to try and claim the guest of reference crown from our leading champion leader first place who is miles dobson it's the one and only shelby bain what was your favorite season by the way that's hard i i always whenever we were asked this on tour i think i always said season four just because it's your first one like everyone was on set but my actual favorite season to this day is probably season seven because it was just it was incredible four or seven and henry and amy got their closure at last as well finally it was about time you know amy is uh she's dated a lot of people on that show la troy and um ty henry oh just everyone yeah finn as well yeah, finn oh my gosh so that's four yeah i forgot him <laughs> how did you forget finn i know that was such a big plot line okay so we crack on with your first round which is the get to know you rounds all of these questions are about you they're not about amy okay so question one if you're a legend get your game face on how many credits as an actress do you have on your imdb <laughs> um um, I'd say like four or five. <laughs> I don't know. You've got eight. Eight? Okay, well that is now I know. Oh my gosh. Uh, you've got the next step, obviously. Tammy's always dying. Right. Believe me, the abdu abduction of Lisa Mc McVee. Backstage, withheld. Isabel dances into the spotlight. Over the rainbow. Re wretched. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> That's eight. See, Kate, it's interesting because I wouldn't have thought Over the Rainbow would have been one because Over the Rainbow I was dancer. But interesting, cool. Now I know. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, question two. On your oh, I just choked my words there. <laughs> On your IMDB, it says that in 2015 you were in a short film. What was the title of the film and what was the name of your role? In 2015? I was in a short mm -hmm. film, so I must have been 14 in 2015 okay well it wasn't wretched because wretched when i was like eight um <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> these are tricky <laughs> uh, absolutely i don't know what okay I i'm gonna give myself 10 10 seconds to really think and then i'll give you an answer if i know or not um that's fine that's fine um okay short film wasn't wretched that was the only short film i think i've ever been in <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't know. I don't know. It's withheld. Withheld. Oh my gosh. And your role was Morgan. Yeah. Okay. Do you remember? Yes, I do. I do remember that. <laughs> Is that, that correct? Yeah. I wore a green jacket on set. I had a green jacket. My hair was in a braid. I was in a schoolroom. And it was filmed in Hamilton, Ontario. Okay, yeah. I totally remember that now. That was it's so fine. Cool. Don't worry. We're off to a great start. <laughs> I mean, a fabulous start. <laughs> How many posts with Alex Chaves do you have on your Instagram? Um, and I'm only counting the ones with you two in. Okay. So not like cast not photos Not like group or ones. Okay, so I have... Okay, here we go. I have one that I just posted recently of us being cat and mouse and we're in our Dance Mania costumes. Then I have our birthday mm -hmm. post. And then I'm not sure if the one of us doing a split is still on there on the gray floor in Studio 5. I think it might be. Um... You're, there's so only the two of us not like if like briar's in it or anything right yeah okay yeah um okay so maybe 
every she's in a lot of my okay i'm gonna just say five i'm gonna go with five seven. Oh my gosh <laughs> i was close i was close yeah you weren't close. that wasn't bad yeah the picture of cat and mouse that's the one that Alex had on her little table in the what yeah. if thing, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, we talked about getting that um, put into a frame because that's like one of our favorite photos of each other. Then there's the birthday one. The one, it says my funny Palantine. Oh yeah, there's the season five one. You're both looking into the mirror in your, um, yeah. the qualified video costumes. And she's in the pink and I'm in the blue. Then there's the Belle Let's Talk photo. And then there's another one where you're blonde and it's, um, the Munch family the game day. Yes! Oh, I love that photo. <laughs> then there's one, another one for season five, another birthday one, which is hashtag pay me forever. <laughs> hashtag pay me forever. Wow, that's We might get one right for this round, maybe. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Eventually. A, it's a possibility. Okay, question four. Okay. In the short film Figures on YouTube, Ooh. directed and written by Nick, M is it Mike? Majorano. How do I pronounce his last name? I always just say marinara sauce because I really don't know how to say his last name. I think it's marinara. Right, that was Shelby who said that then. That's not me. Yeah, that, Just um, by Nick. Um, you know? yeah, Nick. We know Nick. Nick Mar Mar Mariano. I think something like that. What are you wearing in the dance scenes? I wish I could hurt you back. Um, I'm wearing like a white Lululemon tank top and he's like satiny black shorts yes correct oh i got one well done <laughs> that was easy because it was a while ago i didn't know if you'd remember <laughs> i actually watched that like last month sometimes i go back and watch it sometimes it's, it's a really good video Thank yeah you. i really like that one thanks it was it's it's fun for us to kind of make our own things you know like and just like mm create and make content and, and make stories and that was really cool that nick was a part of it and got to direct and like it was very like collaborative yeah, yeah he's experience. really good like all the stuff that he makes is always really good yeah yeah okay question five on your youtube channel i know you don't use it that often but what song is your first acro solo to that you've posted <laughs> Um, Shoop Shoop. I was seven years old and I was in a pink, but if that's not on my YouTube channel, but I'm pretty sure that one is, then it would be Supergirl. But my first one was Shoop Shoop. Are you right? I'm in a pink outfit. Be Italian. Be Italian. Okay. But my first one was Shoop Shoop when I was seven years old. Okay. I, don't, I would like to start that back up. Maybe I should. Yeah. For that round, you only got one out of five. I'm afraid. That's okay. <laughs> so round two is the reference round. It's guess the reference. So all these questions instead are about Amy. They're not about Shelby. Okay. So you might do better on this round. Most people do better when they're talking about their characters than themselves. I hope so. <laughs> if you're a legend, get your game face on. Your first question. In season four, episode 21, Amy and Sloan are cleaning mirrors. Amy says that she knows a lot about getting rid of streaks, but what is the reason why? I know a lot about getting rid of streaks because I had a summer job at the gas station and one of my favorite things to do was cleaning people's windshields. She says that like you can tell a lot about a person's, or she did, she used to clean like cars or something or? What's your final answer? <laughs> we were cleaning the mirrors, but why were we saying a lot about streaks? Yeah, didn't she? I feel like she used to help out her, like, somebody in her family clean, and that's why she knows. She had a summer job at a gas station. Oh my gosh! I don't know whether to give you the point. <laughs> she, like, she cleaned, she cleaned stuff, so there you go. She kind of knew. Wait, yeah, why? she did clean stuff. I'll give you half. My question is why, though, at the age of, I don't know, I think Amy's probably, like, let's say 14, right, at that time, or maybe, like, 13 in season four? Mm. How old was she when she was working at a gas station is my question. Like, 11? I don't know. Who knows? Her mom is quite hard on her though, isn't she? So, <laughs> I could see her sending her out to work. Yeah. I'm guessing it's not a true story then no. that Amy was at a gas station. I don't, no. think, I don't think so. I think that was just something that we made up. I think I made that up on the spot. I'm not sure. But then again, see, like, that's it was the kind of thing that- a long time ago. I just feel like it wasn't really relevant. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was only relevant to that one story yeah, yeah. point. <laughs> A lot of things are like that, though, to be fair. Yeah, so. <laughs> like they just threw that in there just for the heck of it. I don't know. In season four, episode 29, Amy says that she was cut from a dance team because she couldn't master an acro move. What was the move? 
Yeah. Okay. Okay, so one time I got cut from the dance team because I couldn't master my double back hands from back layout. <laughs> oh my god. This is so bad. Um, maybe it was like a layout half twist? It has the word layout in it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Like just like a back layout? It's a double back handspring back layout. Oh, oh my gosh. Well, okay. <laughs> very complicated. That's yeah. very complicated. I can do that. But maybe she, yeah, maybe. That was close though. I'm, I'm glad that I didn't say anything like front or something like that. That was, that was yeah, the elimination there. That was pretty good. In season five, episode six, when Amy and Piper are doing their duet to try and get Amy onto TNS East, what song do they dance to? And when we're on top of the world, we're gonna take the power and we never give it back. <sighs> oh my goodness. It was a season five song and and I don't think I don't think there was a group. I don't think there was a dance that was actually I think we were the only ones who did it in season five. Shoot, I don't know. What was it? It's top of the world. And then we did do it we did do a group dance to it. I am failing miserably. <laughs> oh my gosh. Question four. When Amy is hiding from her mom in season five, episode 16, where does Piper find her? Amy? Thank goodness. She's okay. Uh, wait, wait, she's here? What? <laughs> oh my God. Um... <laughs> okay, well, let's just do process of elimination. <laughs> She's not in any, like, Miss Kate or Nick's studio. Uh, maybe the cafe? Is she hiding in the cafe? Uh, that's kind of an obvious spot. She's probably not hiding in the dance studio, because that's even more obvious. Oh, oh, the locker room? It's the locker room. Wait, yeah. the locker room? Did I get it? <laughs> yes, well done. It's in the little room off from the locker room, but I don't know what's in there, so There's I nothing. will let you have the locker it's room. It's nothing. There's nothing. nothing. It's just a, a sign, and then it goes to a, a wall. Question five. When Piper tells Amy that she likes Josh in season five, episode 20, oh. what three ways does Amy say you can tell if a boy likes you? How do you tell if a guy likes you? Piper, there are so many ways to tell if a guy likes you. Does he give you big hugs? <laughs> yes. <laughs> does he follow you on all social media platforms? Yes. But, I mean, he follows you, too. But I guess if all else fails, the surest way to tell if a guy likes you is if he makes excuses to hang out with you. <laughs> um, Process of elimination again. <laughs> okay, well, it's like, what would I have said? I feel like it's something I would have said. Um, if he smiles, let's just go with that. Um, if he likes to hang around mm. you, <laughs> that's number two. <laughs> and um, if he laughs. You've got one of them. I'll give you one of them. <laughs> it's they give you big hugs. Oh. They follow you on all their social media platforms. Of course. And they make excuses to hang out with you. Okay. So you've got hang out with you. Okay. I'll give you that one. That's not bad. That was okay. Question six. Who helped Henry propose to Amy in season six? So you had um, Finn was there, Miles was, or can I say their real names, is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. So Finn, <laughs> yeah. so sorry, Finn, Noah, Sage was there, so Summer and uh, Piper, um, and then obviously Isaiah. Yes, correct. However, one of the fans did say, if you got that right, you can get an extra point by saying what letter each of them was when they spot up from. Okay, cool. So you can have a go at that if you sure, want. Sure, <laughs> I'll try. Um, so I know that Henry was the exclamation point. You mean the question mark? <laughs> the question mark, that. It was a question. <laughs> I think, I think Sage, oh, see, I can see their shirts, but I can't see the letters. Um, <laughs> Piper was, Where were they in the line when they when they ended? Isaiah was close to me, so we were down. Um, okay, so Finn was P. Let's say that. No. <laughs> Moving on. Sage was M. No. <laughs> okay, I'll give one more guess. Was Alex M? Yes, she was. <laughs> one out of them. Okay. <laughs> I'll give you one quarter of a point yeah, for getting okay. one of them point right. That's fine. fine. <laughs> 
That was actually clever. I like that. That was cool. Like a sub, little sub question. Yeah, that was from Rachel. So thank you, Rachel, Thanks, for that. Rachel. Rachel. Shall be out. I like that. In season six, Amy and Henry perform solos to the same song, but in separate studios, and the camera cuts between them. What is the song? <laughs> When I switched to Acronation, I was sad that I'd never dance on the same team as Henry again. And now I think it's for the best. It's my turn. Dun, 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 yes, dun, well done. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> That's my favorite Next Step song, actually, like ever. I did that. So we filmed season six, and then the next summer, there was another summer social. And um, Alex, myself, Liam and Noah went to it and that was my solo song. I think from season seven, I really like show you how, that one gets me in the mood. Yeah. But I also like tell the story. Yeah, too. I really like, honestly, there's a couple from season one that I really like. Like um, there's uh, obviously when the, the war is over, that one that Brit or um, Riley had yeah. a point solo to. But then there's the inside out one. I think that um, Michelle and Eldon had their duet yeah. too. Those are all the classics, season one. Every single song on season one is a good one. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. There, that is like, that's facts, period. Question eight. In season six, episode 25, Michelle apologizes to Amy for underestimating her. But what dance has she just finished performing when she tells her this? It's really good, thanks. Amy, um, I just, wanted to tell you that I was wrong. You are a lead dancer. And I see that now. Um, her, it's the O dance. Yes, welcome to the nation, the giant O's. The That's giant O's correct. in the unitards. Oh. With the O's on them. Yeah. <laughs> when Amy is trying to tell Piper her story about mushrooms in season seven, episode four, what two types of mushroom does she say she knows the difference between? Uh, sorry, please continue. Anyways, so this mushroom fraud was trying to tell me that I don't know the difference between a cremini and a shiitake, and I was like, I'll tell you what I think about your shiitakes. <laughs> shiitake and a, or a cremini? Yeah, a cremini mushroom and a shiitake mushroom. Yes, correct, yes. Burn. I don't know if you get that one. <laughs> You know what? You know I, your mushrooms. I well actually done. did so much research on mushrooms for that scene. I'm not even kidding. I googled all the different types of mushrooms and how I could like make it somewhat funny. <laughs> That's how committed she is to the role, guys. Do your research. It's important. Knowledge is power. Question 10. So your final question of this round. In season 7, episode 20, who is Amy originally meant to be sharing a hotel room with? We leave first thing tomorrow for Dance Mania. Uh... Kenzie, do you mind switching rooms with me? I'd really like to be with Piper. No, 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 no. What you're trying to do is you're trying to stick me with Rochelle. There's no way. I know all about her rules and her lights out by nine. No. Well, she gets put with Rochelle. Yeah, yes. she gets put with Rochelle. But, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, good. That's I it. thought you were going to say but and more. change your mind then. <laughs> yes, correct. So then we move on to your questions from fans. So I have these from a mixture of Instagram and YouTube this morning. If you're a legend, get your game face on. So your first one is from Milo Foster and Jay Haley 19. What is Amy's mom's name? And you should be ashamed of yourself. You manipulate these kids into coming here when they're actually Gee, dancing mom, with real mom, troops. Mom, Stop it, Amy. <laughs> Maybe Gail's right. Oh my gosh, if I don't know this, this is awful. <laughs> oh, um, oh, I know Amy's name's Amy Abigail. Her middle name. Um, yes. Why do I think it starts with a G? It does. Okay. Gail. Gail. It's Gail. Yes. Oh, yes. My oh my gosh, I know my mom's name. <laughs> that would be awful if I did. <laughs> well done. This is from Sam Hamilton, thirty-six, and Josh Cotrain. What does Amy confess is her biggest fear to the Zero Percent Club in season four, episode four? What about you, Amy? Well, I'm scared that. I'll forget the choreography and I'll just mess up the entire dance. Okay. Um, forgetting like forgetting um, her dance on stage or something like that? Yes, yes. She's scared she'll forget the choreo and mess up the dances. Let's go! <laughs> You're back on the right track now. This is good. I am. Question three. This is from I 
oh, I can't read this. I, I, star, X, Y, X, X, lemon, and infinite TNS, and Natalie Hatch Bacar. What was Emily's nickname for Amy when they were picking the dance captain in season four? Miss Rochelle, hmm, honey. Rudolph, shut it off. A negative one for you, Rudolph. Oh my. <laughs> Um, well, Twinkle Toes was season six. I don't know. I can tell you. It's only took my tongue. What is it? Rudolph. Rudolph? Uh oh. Because she has the blinking light. That yeah. explains the blinking light. I mean, Amy wasn't really a great candidate, was she, for dance captain? <laughs> no, you know what, though? This is like, I want to know your opinion. Okay. Season seven. Yes, Amy, dance captain. 100%. She is the, like, yeah. un unannounced dance captain because I, Amy was yeah. in there counting it out. She was like front and center, making sure everyone was on top of their game. But yeah, no recognition. No one ever said anything. Amy should have been dance eight, captain. But the season eight, I think she would make a really good dance captain. Not that she was really hyper before, but I think she's really just kind of like calmed down a bit. She's really grounded. And I think she would actually yeah. be, she's pretty caring too about everyone and, and their feelings and very yeah. empathetic. I think she'd make a great captain. Yes, we stand Amy. We yeah, stand Amy. We stand. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Question four is from Paul Walters on Instagram. Who danced for TNS East in the season five battle to see who would go to regionals? Oh, this is what I was trying to figure this out. <laughs> um, yeah. That's okay. why I didn't tell you who was in the <laughs> You're clever. Okay. So it was myself. <laughs> um, it was uh, Jackie, so Dylan. Um, it was Miles, mm -hmm. who plays Noah. And then who else was in season five? Okay. Um, well, I know that. Oh, was it Julian Elia? Maybe. Yeah, I think it might have been. He was on TNS East because he was never TNS West. So I think he was on it. And then I need one more girl because there was five of us. Um, so the other team was probably Piper... Um, we had, um, I think maybe Isaiah was there. I'm not sure what guys were on the West, but that doesn't matter. We're trying to figure out the East. Um, <laughs> what other girls were there that season? Um, Alex wasn't there. She wasn't, she was on the other team. Um, still me. Oh, Briar, Rochelle. Yeah, you got half. <laughs> oh, wait. Noah had moved to TNS West for the battles. Was, but Julian, <laughs> Julian was on it, so uh, what's his, what was his name on the Yes, show? you got Elliot, Jackie, and Rochelle. Okay. I as was, well as Amy, yeah, but it was Lola. Oh, really? You know what I'm confusing it with? Yeah. I'm confusing it with season four when it was like, it was Miles, Alfie, myself, Briar, and I think Michelle. The Unparalleled routine. Yeah, I think that's what I'm, okay, that's okay. Well, I was close. You got four out of five, so I can give you four fifths of a point. Yeah, we love a four fifths point. <laughs> okay, your final question from fans is from Toby0NG on Instagram. What is the tuxedo shop called that Amy and Henry visit in season six? Why are we backing in? Huh. Back in now, drive out later. Real easy. <sighs> penguin tuxedos? It's Monsieur Penguin. I give you half. Close. You got penguin. <laughs> I, I almost, that's a half point for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's a half point. I give you a half. <laughs> yeah, so your final question and your final round is your obscure question. So this one is a little bit trickier. You might not know the answer to it. If you're a legend, get your game face on. What number are Amy's lockers before she leaves to go to Accra Nation and then once she returns? We've all been front row dancers our entire life. Michelle and Emily are totally favoring her. Hey, so did you hear they have this amazing new green tea latte at the next deep? Yeah, don't get me started. What's wrong with the green tea latte? 13. And then 14. 7. 7. And 13. Okay. Yeah, 7 before and then 13 after. Cool. Okay. Yeah, so now I need to work out your score, and it'll probably take me a while, because I've got all okay. these decimal points to add up now. Take your You've time. got like fifths of a points and halves of a points. I have a question yeah. for you. Um, so, I've been quizzed now, okay? What was the first season I appeared on? Like me, One. Shelby. You were in the regionals. Yeah, there you go. With Dance Inc., yep. Is 
Like I know my stuff. I know my stuff. You can't trick me out. <laughs> okay. I think your score is 11.85. It's fine. It's fine. You know what? I, I, I think what would happen where I went wrong is actually the questions about myself. Like if I had just done a little bit yeah. better there, I feel like I would have... We would have been okay. But you did know a lot about Amy. I did. To be fair. Yes, yes. So she you did yourself pretty... proud. Yeah. That was so much fun. So um, my Instagram is at Shelby Bain underscore, as well as uh, my Twitter is. Um, I also do have a YouTube channel. It's just Shelby Bain. I'm, I'm thinking about posting more on there. I'm kind of inspired now, especially after knowing that should, my yeah. first solo <laughs> on there is be italian um you can follow me there um i also have an email if you ever want to reach out um and have any questions or want tips on like dancing acting the industry that kind of stuff and i also have cameo that thing's kind of fun too i don't really know how to use it that well but if you want there's cameo as well and that's just shelby bain underscore i think okay wait so can i nominate someone though yeah, I was just about to ask you if you want to nominate someone to try and challenge you. I nominate Alex Chaves Piper. I, I thought you might, yeah. <laughs> Pay me for lifey. I don't know, how good is Alex's memory? Does she have a good memory? Yeah, you know what? She does have a really good memory and she'll probably know. <laughs> she'll probably, she will definitely win. I know for a fact she will. But the thing that's strange though, is that I actually have a photographic memory. It's not word perfect, but I can actually see like the format of the script. Like, learning That'd lines so is always helpful. really easy. <laughs> but like film and television, it's really difficult. Cause I'm like, I know what I was wearing in almost every scene, but I don't necessarily know like the people. Yeah. It's strange, but I think Alex I has a really good mean, memory. Yeah. So. She'll, she'll do fine. I should have asked you more questions about like what was in the scene and stuff. Yeah, that would have I would have you nailed out. that. I would have crushed it. Like the cake scene or the cake fight, like what kind of foods were there? I would have been like cheesies, <laughs> Yeah, chips, name everything broccoli, on the table. Carrots, um, cake, you know, I would have, I would have crushed that. Um, but yeah, that's all. Thank you, Shelby, for taking part. It's loads of fun. I'm sorry you didn't like beat Miles or beat many people, but you know, you made Amy proud, I even if did. you didn't like remember much about yourself. My home girl. Amy would be proud of you. She would be. Amy Abigail. And her mom, Gail, who's her name, by the way. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you again, Shelby, for taking part. And Alex has been... Ch Alex has been... Ch so, Alex, if you want to try and beat Shelby's score, then just let me know. You can message me on Instagram and we can sort something out. Um, and I'll see you next week, guys, for a new video. Bye!